Hey family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Uh, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we're going to be making banana pudding the easy way. Let's get it. So first you want to get your ingredients together. Chessman cookies, uh, whipped topping, banana, cream, and French vanilla jello, instant pudding, milk, vanilla extract, and of course your mixer. Uh, today we're going to be using the Princess House mixer. So go ahead and get your mixer running. Go ahead and add two cups of milk uh, to the mixer. From there, you're going to add about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then you're going to start adding your pudding mix. It doesn't really matter which one you add first because you're going to add them at the same time and just let it start mixing. So that one is the banana. And the next one is going to be the French vanilla. And you're going to use the mixing head on your mixer. And turn it up, turn up the speed, and get you a folding spoon, and just go ahead and push down all that excess instant jello mix into the uh, mixer so you can get fully incorporated. All right, from there, you're going to change the head to the folding head, which you're going to see why you use that. You start adding in your 16-ounce tub of whipped topping. Um, and then from there, you just get use the same folding spoon you were using earlier just to make sure everything gets mixed in from the bottom because the folding head, unfortunately, doesn't reach the bottom of the mixer. So that's what you see me doing right here, just grabbing some of the pudding that didn't mix in with the whipped topping from the bottom and just mixing it all in. All right, you're going to get your first set of chestnut cookies and you're going to lay them on the bottom of the pan. From there, you're going to add a layer, so about half of your pudding and whipped topping mix over the first layer of cookies. And you use that same folding spoon, you just spread it out evenly. You're going to get another set of your chessmen cookies. And you're going to start laying it. Now, chessmen is best because chessmen is the closest tasting to what you would normally use if you were making a full banana pudding, which is the vanilla wafers. Um, the chessmen cookies are actually going to be the closest in flavor. And they're square, so they actually end up working for the round pan. Because normally you would just use vanilla wafers. You add a second layer, or the remaining of your pudding mixture. You take another batch of the chessman cookies. You add them to a Ziploc bag, and you just start crushing them. You, I, I would suggest using a rolling pin. Unfortunately, at this time, I didn't have one. So I'm just going to bang it out with my fists. Because, you know, got to improvise. Right? Uh, once I get that completely fine mashed out, I'm going to open the Ziploc bag slightly and I'm going to spread it all over the top of that second layer of uh, mixture. Right. Once that's done, you just go ahead and stick it in the refrigerator for maybe about an hour, hour and a half. And once it's nice, cold, formed and settled, you are ready to eat and enjoy um, go ahead and let me know uh, if you try this out. Let me know what it tastes like in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much, and enjoy. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share it to a friend, and we'll see you in the next one.